It's late February in this field in Cape May, and that means our featured bird is already on the move. It's the earliest migrant breeder in the U.S. and Canada, and has one of the most elaborate breeding displays in birddom. Let's see if we can't spot one of my personal favorites, American Woodcock. American woodcocks are a very early migrant, as seen here in this terrific animated map from the Cornell Lab. In fact, southerly birds may hatch young as early as February, and even as far north as Maine we see young in mid-May. There's no easy way to say this, but woodcocks are odd, inspiring nicknames like Timberdoodle and Bog Sucker. They are in the shorebird family, but inhabit young forests and woody edges, using openings as a place to do their breeding display. They have big eyes in the center of their heads, which lets them see in almost all directions, as well as in low light, since they are most active in early dawn and light dusk. Their long, ungainly bills are used to probe for earthworms, their favorite food, and are flexible at the tip, perfect for snagging a worm deep in the dirt. Their excellent camouflage makes them surprisingly hard to spot and conceals them for predators, including human hunters. If you haven't seen a woodcock probing for worms, you really haven't lived. Their exaggerated dance may help agitate earthworms so that they are more easily detected and is a sight to behold. As if all that weren't enough to endear them to us, woodcocks also have an amazing display. In late winter and early spring, usually a short while after sunset, males will come to an opening near wooded areas to show off. They start with their characteristic peent sound, which is often preceded with a lower hiccup sound, like so. Then the real fun starts. The males fly straight up in the air, sometimes up to 300 feet, and create a beautiful whistling sound using specially narrow outer wing feathers. They can spiral and even loop upside down on their way back down as their wing whir gets increasingly faster and they start to make a continuous chirping sound. Here's the full sequence. It's a little long, but I couldn't stand to abbreviate it. One last sound you might hear at these displays is a rapid chatter, probably part of a response to other displaying males. Successful displays end in mating with females, who are polygamous, after which the female will go off to other displays and then eventually to nest. The young are entirely raised by the female and are able to probe for worms as early as four days of age and are completely independent in about a month. I hope you get to experience a woodcock display in person. Finding these birds in early spring and witnessing their antics is one of my favorite experiences in birding. If you have a bird whose sounds you'd like to learn, or if you have a sound recording you'd like us to talk about, just contact us at info at If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe and check out the useful links below for more resources. You can also find out about becoming part of the Terra Project at www.terralistens.com. Thanks for listening, and see you next bird.